Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crazy Hobbies Down Under. All right, so it's heating up here down under and what better video than an RC boat video, in particular, the Traxxas Spartan. This bad boy is a new color from Traxxas. It is the latest color. They come in two different colors. They will come in a pink and they'll also come in an orange. Really great graphics from Traxxas as always. Uh, the boat is ready to run. You will still need your batteries and charger to complete it. And we recommend some inox and some marine grease. Now, just regarding the Traxxas Spartan, uh, they will retail for an eight to $900. It's about a meter in length. So it's a good size. It's not too big, it's not too small. And what I love about the Traxxas Spartan boats is that they come in a, two cool features. One is the TSM, which is short for Traxxas Stability Management. Uh, it's a function that it's like a gyro and it keeps your boat straight. You can turn it from zero to 50 to 100. So if you wanna keep the boat straight in the water, you can turn that stability management up and it just keeps the boat nice and straight. So easier to drive. And the second feature, which all Traxxas vehicles and boats have is what we call the trainer mode. The trainer mode, what it does is, it's really easy to uh, turn it on and off. Uh, you'll have trainer mode and sports mode. So trainer mode, You'll turn it on, and what it does is it dumbs the power down from 100% directly down to 50%. So if little Johnny wants to have a play, you'll dumb it down to trainer mode, let him play around with it, and then when dad gets the radio back, you put it back onto sports mode, and you have that full 100% power. Uh, the Spartan has a top speed of 50 miles per hour, which is roughly around 80 kilometers. Just regarding the boat, it does have a plastic hull. Now, regarding plastic hulls, uh, the boat is nice and light. So they are very zippy in the water. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly show you how nice the boat is, but most importantly, we're gonna show you the three main upgrades to do to your Spartan boat, which I have, I have, I have one myself here, and it's this one here. It's just got a wrap on it. So we're gonna show you what to do with the Spartan boat or if you wanted to upgrade it later on, the three main upgrades. So you're sitting at home and there's two tracks you're supposed to choose from. There is the Spartan, which is the V-hull, right? And then you have the Catamaran from Traxxas, which is the M41, right? And that's a Catamaran. So you're thinking, you know, what's the difference? What's the advantages and disadvantages without confusing you guys too much? If you're in choppier waters, you're probably better off with the Spartan, all right? The Spartan just chops through the, uh, goes through the, or I should say, eats the waves better and doesn't tend to launch if wind gets under, under it. The turning circle's a little bit tighter on the Spartan. If you have calmer waters where you are, you're probably better off going for the catamaran, right? So the catamaran does like uh, calmer waters. It will glide better. Uh, it also does have good turning but if, you, if, you, if you're going really fast with the catamaran and you, and you tend to hook it, it, will, you know, it, will, it can launch up because you've got wind running under the hull. So that's about it. Let's quickly unpack. We'll just quickly give you a quick rundown on the boat and we'll show you the main upgrades needed on your Traxxas boats. Quick fun fact, the Spartan culture was centered on loyalty to the state and military service. Sparta. This is Sparta! All right, let's unpack. They sent me the pink one. Oh, pink one, out of all colors, the pink one. I'm only joking. The pink one actually, in my opinion, the pink one actually looks better than the orange one. The pink one just pops. All right, let's, yeah, the, it just looks like candy. Rainbow power. That's a great thing about all Traxxas uh, products. They make great graphics. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, just look at that. Really nicely done. So we'll give you guys a quick 360 view, detailed look on the boat, and then we'll check out the guts. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you comment. At, if you're kind enough, please comment. All right, so here we are. We're just going to have a look inside the boat. We're gonna quickly tell you what you need to know and what you should do uh, regarding the RC boats, in particular the M41 and the Traxxas Spartan. We're just gonna warn you guys at home, if boats, if you're watching this video and if you're not really good with mechanical work or maintenance work, an RC boats is really not for you because with the RC boats, you really have to keep them clean always, lubed up, and greased up, right? So we'll quickly take the lid off and we're just gonna run through the boat quickly and we're gonna tell you what you need to do regarding maintenance. That's just a body clip and it just clips on there. That's what holds the lid onto the hull. Now, if you don't want any water to go in, I'd highly recommend, you see the seal points here? You can get some clear tape and tape it all the way around. And if you do do that, less water will go into your hull because when you do flip the boat, water will go in. Just a quick tip there. Inside the boat, now the great thing about Traxxas products, in gen generally speaking, is that they're very thought after, right? Uh, the design, very simple, but very complex at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, so you have your brushless motor right at the front here. It's connected to the collet which we will show you something in a sec. You've got your electronic speed controller, which is also waterproof, right? It's not salt waterproof, it's fresh waterproof. You have your receiver box, your receiver's in here, and that's water tight. So there's no water getting into your receiver. If any water gets into your receiver, you're gonna, you're gonna get all sorts of problems and a lot of glitching. Then you have your servo here, right? That's, that's connected to your rudder. Right, that's what steers the boat, and that's also waterproof. Uh, so we'll just quickly get this out of the way. Now, you have your battery compartments on each side. With your battery compartments, you will need to run exactly the same batteries. So whatever battery you buy, you must buy two exactly the same. So you can either run two 2Ss, two 2S LiPos, which are two 7.4 volts, or you run two 3S LiPos, which is 11.1 uh, volts. So the higher the voltage, ladies and gentlemen, the faster your boat will go. If you're not sure what batteries to get and which ones to start off with, get the two 11.1 volts, put the, put the thing on trainer mode, and then when you get used to it, turn it off trainer mode. But if you have, if you, if you, you, know, if you just wanna get the boat and you already have two 2S, two 2S LiPos, then yes, you will still be able to use them. Battery recommendations, you can either go your Traxxas. Keep in mind, if you go Traxxas, you will have to buy the Traxxas chargers, right? And the only other battery that we recommend is the Gens Ace, right? Now, Gens Ace make a bashing series, and they also make, this is the original series. You don't see any bashing label on here. And for boats, we'd recommend the original series. Do not get the bashing series for boats. The bashing series are only for cars, all right? So this battery here is 11.1 volt 50C. This one retails for about $125. And this two of these are more than efficient uh, in, your, in your boats. More than efficient power. Just a quick tip on your batteries. We can save you a lot of money here, all right? Straight off the bat. Uh, if I were you guys, I would get some bare tape, tape them on the bottom, because if any water gets in your boat, water can seek through here. When you have your batteries connected to the boat, 
they're pretty much water tight. So as you see there, they push in, right? That's pretty much watertight. So you, these plugs will not, should not get corroded. Now, if you go for the aftermarket batteries, the aftermarket batteries have these little balance cords on them. Now, this is a very common problem and we're gonna save you a lot of money here. Uh, I've wasted hundreds of dollars uh, not doing this. What you need to do is just get like a little satty bag or any covering, right? Bag it to there and then you can, you can, I wouldn't cable tie it, I'd probably just get elastic band. If any water, any salt water gets on these little plugs, your balance plugs, it's, this, this is what you need to charge your batteries, right? You, they're kaput, right? So you'll need to change them or get new batteries. So make sure they're covered when they're in the boat. Quick tip. Uh, now regarding inox, you must, buy inox you can get it from any hardware shop this is a anti-corrosion lubricant so what i do is i will before i take my boat out i will spray this in the inside of my electronics and also on the back see all these moving parts and that's what i would do so when it's in the boat uh, sorry once the boat is in the water as much it will keep it off as much as possible, right? So the inox is a lifesaver. Spray it before and after. So get some inox and your motor bearings in here and in here, right? Inox is a lifesaver. Now, just regarding the maintenance, we're just about to finish up. You have your flex, you have your shaft here that goes from the motor, that collar, it connects to there, tightens up and it goes all the way down and it finishes there. So what you need to do is, uh, regarding what's included, you'll get your boat stand in there, you get your instructions. Now they do give you some marine grease. Uh, you get a spare propeller, body clips, and see these spanners here, right? They give you two. What you'll do is you'll hold one on, oops, you'll hold, let me just zoom up here. You will hold one on this one here, and you can hold one on that one. And then what you do is, while you're holding that one in your hand, this one here, turn it, right? And that's like, that's, that's a pressure fit. So when you loosen that one up, while you're holding, let me just zoom out, whoopsie. So while you're holding that one, that spanner in your hand, that one there, just loosening it. And then once you loosen that off, that will open up and there'll be obviously less pressure on the shaft. And that way, once you've done that, you'll be able to pull that shaft out, right? Wash it with fresh water. That grease, it's marine grease, RC marine grease. You can buy it extra. You'll have to apply it on there, stick it back through. Once you do so, you pretty much push it all the way in and then you wanna come about five mil out so you push it, I'll just show you on here, you push it all the way in and then come about, they say three to five mil out and then you'll need to tighten it back up. So you'll see here, I'll just move it across. You see that little gap there? Well, see that little gap there between the brass collet and the blue aluminium, see how there's a little bit of gap? So when you tighten it back up, always leave a gap because the shaft will shrink under load once it's in the water. Right, now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you really need to know regarding maintenance on RC boats. It's as simple as that. Always keep, after you finish, keep them dry, inox them, grease the shaft up, right? And just always keep them as dry as possible. When you're finished and if there's a lot of water, when you're storing at home, take the lid off. Don't leave it, the lid on, so if there's any water, it can slowly evap uh, evaporate. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know without boring you guys. Obviously, you go to your local hobby shop, they will give you more detailed advice. Uh, with your batteries, you can also put them more forward or more backwards, and you can put some foam in there as well, and you can just glue that down, depending on 
how you want to position them. Right, so we're just gonna show you the uh, upgraded Spartan and we'll show you guys what you need to do. All right guys, so let's dive into it. Now, three main upgrades that we'd highly recommend either on your Traxxas Spartan or your Traxxas M41. You don't have to do this, but yeah, we'd highly recommend it if you do. The electronics will last you longer, your boat will run cooler, and your boat will be much faster and a better boat. Uh, yeah, it's, it's for what you get, uh, it's well worth it regarding the price. So let's quickly start off at the front. And you can see here, let's just zoom up a little bit. You can see here at the front of the boat, the original Spartan will have a rubber water cooling jacket that goes over the motor. And, the, and this is the upgraded version. You can see here, this one here is aluminium. Now, with the rubber cooling jacket, these tend to leak. Uh, the aluminium ones do not leak. They're a better seal. They also stay cooler, right? So uh, it's about $50 to upgrade it. Now, if you're down under, there is a company called RC Boat Bits. Bits spelt B-I-T-Z, right? Uh, that's the one we'd recommend. And they retail, like I said, roughly around $50. This is a must. Uh, like I said, it doesn't leak and it will keep the uh, motor cooler, right? So this is a must. The Traxxas one's just a rubber cooling jacket and they, like I said, they tend to leak. You don't want water coming into your motor, guys. It's as simple as that. Now, let's, you can see here, let's just work down. You can see in the middle of the boat, all we've done is, got my magic wand here. All we've done is we've just cut some basic foam. We've hot glued it inside the boat. So when we put our batteries in, your batteries aren't moving forward and backwards, and that can be a big problem. Uh, when you put your batteries in there and you've got water in there and whatever, and you've got inox in there, it's slippery, your batteries will come out, right? And you're gonna be moving around. That's just a little hack, that's not an upgrade. Now, the second upgrade, which we'll show you, just in the back over here, right? So you can see here, there is one tube here. This is, the, this is obviously the brand new original boat. And this is the upgrade and you can see two lines. So this is the water pickup lines. So when your boat's running, right, the water's gushing back. And what it does is that tube will pick water up, bring it, rush it right down into your electronic speed controller. These are water cooled. These electronics get very hot. So water goes in them to keep them cool, right? So it will go inside your ESC, and then what it'll do is it will... So when the water comes in, guys, it's cool. And then when it goes in here, obviously because it's hot, it be, the water will become warmer, and then it will go into your motor. Now when it goes into your motor, the water's not as cool because it's gone through the ESC first. So the water goes through in here, warmer, the water's warmer, obviously, and then spits the water out. And it just keeps doing it while you're running the boat. Now, the upgraded one is what we call a dual pickup line, right? And this is, this is gonna set you back roughly about $120. You can see here, the aluminum is dark blue, and you can see here, it's a lighter blue. RC boat bits also do the dual pickup. So what, you have two lines here. Very, very easy. One line, this line here will go straight into your ESC, the water will go straight in, and then the other line, it's gonna come straight out and then out. So cool water in, and then cool water, like cool water in and then out. And then the other pickup line is gonna go cool water in, and then this line over here, and it's gonna go straight into your motor. So instead of warm water going in here and then hotter water going into your motor, you'll have the dual pickup line, you'll have the cool water going in here and then out, and then cool water from this line into your motor and out. So that is a must. So what you always want, the cooler the water that goes into your electronics, 
the, the cool, obviously, the electronics are gonna be running. They're gonna get better performance and better life. So this is the second upgrade that you really wanna do. The dual pickup line, RC Boat Bits also has it. Like I said, it's roughly around $120 if you're down under. Uh, and then the last, now this is, you don't really have to do this, but if you want better performance, then you can. Uh, you can see here, the original, the original propeller is composite, it's plastic. Uh, it's pretty fast as is. These tend to warp a little bit. You do get a spare one inside the box. Now this is an upgrade. This is a brass propeller. It's gonna be much quicker. These, these tend not to warp. So if you want better performance, a brass propeller is a must. So that's it. That's all you really need to do regarding upgrades, right? The three upgrades that you really need to do to your M41 Traxxas boat or your Spartan and then you'll be very, very happy. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So please subscribe, like, comment. Love you guys from down under. Catch you on the next one.